Sure. So on one side, we've got virtual reality, and this is all about immersing you in a completely different environment or set of circumstances. On the other side, we've got augmented reality, and this is where you're still in the physical world, but you're getting an overlay of information relating to what is around you in the environment. Virtual reality and augmented reality technologies generally have this, this stereotype that they're for gaming and entertainment only, when in reality they've been used in business for a number of decades now to great success across all industries all over the world. Some of the use cases and applications that we see having a lot of value in the market right now are around training. But apart from training, there's also aspects around assessment, so assessment of employees, um, around the onboarding of those employees, being able to tour or supervise or have an overview of different locations live around the world. Um, and we've used that, for example, to help close deals um, for assets and environments that are, are you know, halfway across the world. Um, augmented reality can be used for navigation and guidance purposes to help people uh, travel from in indoors from one destination to another, especially when it's very complicated between floors for multi-level retailers, hospitals, uh, university campuses perhaps. And it's also used of course for collaboration so that you and I can have a conversation in a really powerful and impactful way and perhaps run a workshop in a shared virtual space in the same way that we would feel that shared space physically, except it's in a completely virtual environment. COVID-19 has definitely accelerated the belief in the technology, so we've had far more clients that have expressed an openness to talking about virtual reality and augmented reality in a very serious way. And that's probably because they are looking to emerging technologies for an answer to problems like how do we collaborate in an impactful uh, way when it has to be remote due to social distancing. So there's definitely been an impact as a result of COVID. But I would stress that beyond COVID and when COVID subsides, there will still be an incredible amount of value to virtual reality and augmented reality for a large number of use cases, but especially collaboration when it has so many benefits like being a sustainable solution for for working remotely and also allowing people to have that same impact without having to travel to each other and dealing with those logistics and loss of time around the world. Virtual reality and augmented reality has had a valuable past already. It's just not very well publicized. So you don't hear about uh, a lot about its usage in, in enterprise. You hear more about the consumer aspects of it um, around gaming and entertainment, but it has had value in the past in enterprise. It has incredible value nowadays with the evolution of the hardware and the software and into the future, this will only improve and in my opinion, I think it's inevitable that businesses across all industries will be using virtual reality and augmented reality.